What's up, scapers, and welcome to Crocodile Tears Quest Guide. The quest requirements are dealing with Scaparas, the Jack of Spades, Missing My Mummy, Spirits of the Elite, Rank 3 overall in Menophos Reputation, and Leela has been brought back to Senliten's tomb, which I am showing in the video. The skill requirements are 73 Hunter, 72 Fishing, 47 Woodcutting, and 30 Agility. The item requirements are 1 Rope, 3 to 5 fishing bait, it is unnecessary if you have brawn perks, one cat or kitten, which is shown on the video, and around 28,000 coins. The recommendations are combat equipment, equipped, prefer magic or ranged, to be able to use a safe spot, and remember runes or ammo. Good food in your bank for later, one or two super energy potions, because there's a lot of running, one Traveler's Necklace, one Amulet of Glory, one Pharaoh's Sceptre, six Port District Teleports, two Sophonem Slayer Dungeon Teleports, Desert Amulet 2 or higher, Bear Rings, Lowstones to Varok, Trainer Village, Yanil and Menophos, and some Quick Teleport Charges. The enemy to defeat is level 108, and it is safe spotable. Let's go! To get a kitten, Use the Varrock Lodestone. Head West. And Northwest, head to Gertrude's house. Talk to Gertrude. Option 1. Option 1 To return Leela to Sen Litten, use the Amulet of Glory's Trainer Village Teleport or the Lodestone to Trainer Village. Head towards the Musician, northeast of the Trainer Bank. Talk to Leela, Option 2. If you had already done this, to start the quest, use the Fairy Rings DLQ code or Traveler's Necklace option 3 and run southeast. If you used Fairy Ring, head east. Enter the pyramid, option 1. Talk to Senli then, twice. I'm not sure if this is part of the returning Leela to Sen Litten, but keep talking to Sen Litten. The chat options are different, but choose the ones that are positive answers, and after that you can start the Crocodile Tears quest. Talk to Sen Litten, option 3, talk about Crocodile Tears, option 3, accept quest. Use the Sophonem Slayer Dungeon Teleport and run north, or use the Menophos Lodestone, run east 
and continue to north. We are heading to the Sphinx, who's located north of the pyramid. Take your cat or kitten out and talk to Sphinx. Option 2, Option 3, Option 3, Option 2. You can pick up your cat, go north a little bit and talk to chicks. Option 2, Option 3. Option 1, Option 2, Option 3. Return to the Senliten Temple by using the method you want to use. Enter the pyramid, option 1. Talk to Sen Liten, option 3. Right click Leela and return to surface. Enter the pyramid, option 2. Go north. Click the massive stone boat to pick up the relic. It's a dowsing rod. Click it and you will get a map. Follow the coordinates on the map. First by going south and climbing up the stairs. First location is northwest. Just a little bit. Next one is south, east of Sofanem. You could use teleports or traveling methods, but sometimes they break the navigation process and you have to start over. So I would recommend you to just run to each one of the locations. Use the agility shortcuts and that will be the second location done. Southeast, just a little bit. Third one is the last one. 
use the agility shortcuts. The location is close to the Pedapin camp, so this will be a lengthy run. Keep following the arrow, I will get back to you after a while. After the last location, return to the Zen Litten Temple. You can use the Magic Carpet Rites to user if you want to. Enter the pyramid, option 1. Talk to Sen Litten, option 3. Right click the traveler's necklace, option 3, and head west just a little bit. The location is north of the Dominion Tower. You could also get there by using the Amulet of Glory Alcarid teleport. Click the waterfall. Go north through both of the doors and talk to any of the spirits to your north. Option 1. Use the lodestone to Menaphos. You could use the fast travel method through the shifting tomb west of you and use the port district. But I didn't know that at this moment, so I just ran there. The location is all the way southwest of the port district. Talk to Portmaster Cogs, option 2. 
enter the pyramid and keep going to north. Talk to the high priest. He will request different things for you to do. And you cannot buy the items from the Grand Exchange. You have to get them yourself. First one is raw belt fish. And you can get that from the Porsche district fishing place. So Menophos Lodestone and run all the way south. Or use the nearby sifting tombs to port district. After you get the raw beltfish, head west back to Grondis. Talk to Portmaster Cogs, option 2. Enter the pyramid and keep going to north. Talk to High Priest, option 1. You will be requested to Acadia Logs next. Use the lowstone to Menaphos, head west a little bit and chop down Acadia trees until you have two Acadia logs. Return to Krondis. Talk to Portmaster Cogs, option 2. Enter the pyramid and keep going to north. Talk to High Priest, option 1. This time you will get requested to get four pyramid tops from the Agility Pyramid. Yep, you heard me right. To get there, you could use the Pharaoh's Skeptre, option 2, or Menophos Lowstone, or Sophonem Slayer Dungeon, Teleport, or the Magic Carpet Rites to Sophonem. And after that, make your way to the Agility Pyramid.
Yep, yep. So do the agility pyramid four times. And please do not forget to actually get the pyramid top when you are at the very top. I will get back to you after we have four agility pyramid tops.
I'm back. Now that we are done with that, use the lowstone to Menophos. You could use the shifting tombs to fast travel to port district. At this time I started using that way. And return to Grondis. Talk to Portmaster Cogs, option 2. Enter the pyramid and keep going to north. Talk to the high priest, option 1. Next, we will need to catch 8 flower birds in southern Sofanum. So use the Sofanem Slayer Dungeon Teleport or Menophos Lodestone and at Sofanem head south to the hunting area. These are deadfall traps so you need one set of logs to set up the trap and after you get some prey going into the trap check it and hopefully you will get one bird. Repeat this until you have eight flower birds. I'm back. Return to Grundis. Talk to Portmaster Cogs, option 2. Enter the pyramid and keep going to north. 
Talk to the high priest. Right click Amulet of Glory and teleport to Alcarid. Deposit everything. We will need all of the inventory spaces for this one. Use the magic carpet rights to Narda. Head east and right click Roku next to the mountain. Buy all of the crock ice and it will start melting. Do not use any teleports. Head west, right click the magic carpet rights, travel and head to Menophos. Head west and south into Menaphos. Use the Merchant District Shifting Tombs Fast Travel Method and travel to Port District. Return to Grandis, and at the very end, you need to have at least 16 Croc Ices. Talk to Portmaster Cogs, option 2. Enter the pyramid and keep going to north. Talk to Grundis. Prepare for a boss fight. I went to the boss retreat bank, got some runes, extreme magic and a couple super restores. After that, Go back to Grundis. Talk to Portmaster Cogs, option 2. Enter the pyramid and keep going to north. Talk to Grundis, keep selecting option 2 and when you see the that's enough chat option, that's when the boss battle will begin. Stay out of the melee distance by heading north a little bit, so the boss will use only ranged. Use protect from ranged and I will get back to you after this one.
talk to the high priest. Return to Sen Liten Pyramid. You could use the fairy rings or traveler's necklace. The fairy ring code is DLQ. Head east from the fairy ring and enter the temple. Option 1. After the cutscene, talk to Sen Liten, option 3. Congratulations. You can give the relic of Grondis to any of the faction leaders in Menophus for some reputation. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And see you in the next one.